Toyota Motor Philippines continues to support and promote the motorsports industry in the Philippines with another successful leg of the much-awaited fourth Vios Cup. Toyota Motor Philippines once again brought the thrill and excitement to motorsports and car racing enthusiasts in Pampanga as it concluded the third leg of the fourth Toyota Vios Cup, which was held at the Clark International Speedway. According to Toyota, the Vios Cup is the company's way of continuing the promotion and development of motorsports in the country. This uh, event is our uh, so-called grassroots racing event. Uh, our Vios, that is uh, actually having an image of just quality is okay, reliability is okay, uh, but uh, less uh, excitement, less fun image before starting this race. That's why we decided to utilize this motorsports event to enhance our image of excitement or fun to drive image uh, for our Vios, then try to promote our Vios models. That is our aim. Basically, racing itself, uh, we believe this is uh, enough size. So, more on, we are now trying to develop the, some other activity using the like a social network, some event outside, like uh, currently doing the, some amusement for the kids or to attract the audience. That portion we will try to enlarge. But the racing event itself, we keep this. Uh, Toyota adds that the Vios Cup is also a big factor in the promotion of the Vios model. We like to promote motorsports in the country and the Vios is the best platform to promote motorsports, the love for cars and also of course the product the Vios. It appeals to younger people. We're trying to market the Vios as a young, vibrant, energetic product. So. I guess with the Vios Cup, they see that you can race the car and it uh, has its sporting nature, so it appeals to younger buyers. This time, a total of 54 racers composed of 36 individual teams and 8 celebrity racers battled it out in the racetrack. But a day before the official race, the racers headed to SM Clark for a meet and greet with their fans and supporters. For round one, Fabio Ide from Toyota Motor Philippines placed first for the celebrity class, which gave Dominic Roque a serious challenge considering that he bagged the first place in the previous leg. I didn't have a good a good start. Uh, see, Dominic was able to overtake me and then two laps later was able to overtake him. Uh, and then I was able to finish him first, so it was really, really good. I was really like, uh, I mean, I've been practicing for this so to get a place in the podium, but it was so much fun, but it was intense. Nakakapagot. Talaga, grabe. Sinubukan ko lahat ng mga kaya ko, pero hirap eh. Hirap niya unahan din. Hirap niyang nade-defend niya yung possession niya. And uh, I tried my best na lumampas, pero hirap. Baka parehas kami hindi makatapos. Meanwhile, Sean Velasco from Toyota Cebu got the first place in the sporting class, which according to him was a very challenging win. I started fourth. When the lights went out, I overtook Ayura, so I became third. And I was banned Mark C, which was really tough to overtake. I had to overtake him twice, but then push through, so I had to tuck in again. And he missed out on the big loop, and so I got in side by side with him and I overtook him. And Pao, the first person in front, was breaking away. He was far ahead until the safety car came in. 
Once the safety car came in, everything bunched up and I had my chance to overtake him then. Representing GM Motorsports, Willem Waltier shared his experience as well as his strategies on how he won first place in the promotional class. Well, I was looking for a clean start. The lights were kind of long on red, so I think my neighbor had a little bit difficulties with the lights going out. So I was able to gain a little advantage on the number one, going into the first corner. Then there was a little tackle behind me, so it gave me like a little bit of space. So then I decided just make like qualifying, just keep your head down and lap after lap after lap, you know, go as fast as you can. And then after six laps, I looked in my rearview mirror and I saw I had like some kind of like a, a buffer. So I was able to, you know, go a little bit less to the max. On the other hand, Dominic Ochoa from Toyota Kazan Avenue made an obvious comeback by bagging the first place in the super sporting class. The practice paid off. Thank you to Mato, Matonetics, and thank you to our boss, Toyota Quezon Avenue, Boss Franklin, and Boss Lincoln for uh, trusting me again to return to the Vios Cup Series. We still have another race on November, so uh, it's not yet over. It's not yet over. Another highlight of the third leg of the fourth Vios Cup was the return of the Drift King, Mr. Keichi Chuchia, to showcase his latest drift stunts. Vios Cup is a big event for the Vios Cup. It's a big event for the Vios Cup. It's a big event for the Vios Cup. He's joining the Vios Cup every year, but he, every time he comes, he feels that it's growing and expanding, so it's so exciting. Round 2 first placers are Dominic Roque for the Celebrity Class, Sean Velasco for the Sporting Class, Roy Bunag for the Promotional Class, and Jet Calderon for the Super Sporting Class. Racers will be back in November to compete for the fourth and last leg of the fourth Vios Cup. We congratulate Toyota Motor Philippines for another successful leg of the fourth Vios Cup. Three legs done, one more to go. And we're sure that motorsports fans and car racing enthusiasts are looking forward to the event, especially after an intense race.